2018 UMBC men's basketball team made history in March Madness as they became the first ever number 16 seed to knock off the number one seed in tournament history. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what happened to the main players on that team. Before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already as we are on the road to 10k. Now let's get into it. Before I talk about the players, I want to bring up some background information about the team and the scenario they were in. This was their first ever tournament appearance since 2008. They're 0-1 in March Madness, they had a 24-10 record heading in, and their opponent was seen as the best team in college basketball, ranked as the number one team heading in, Virginia who held a 31-2 record. And no number 16 seed has ever won a game against the one seed in the tournament. This was a game that nobody thought was going to be close. Virginia was potentially going to win it all, but they first had to beat UMBC, and just like a bunch of 1 seeds versus 16 seeds, nobody was going to bat an eye to this game. But one thing would shock everyone. Not only did UMBC pull off the unthinkable, but they won by 20 points. They became the first ever team that was ranked as a number 16 seed to knock off the number 1 seed in tournament history, and to this day, they are still the only team to do that ever. The first player I'm going to be talking about from this UMBC team was the guy who led it all. He dropped 28 points on Virginia, and in his senior season in that year, he averaged 20 points, had 3.5 assists, and 5.5 total rebounds, while shooting 43% from the field, 39 from the three, and he shot 79% from the free throw line. In that same season, Lyles was a first team All-America East and America East Tournament MVP. In the 2018 NBA draft, he went undrafted, but would go on to play for the Utah Jazz G League affiliate. After a solid season in the G League with the Salt Lake City Stars, Lyles would decide to go overseas and play in Germany, where he's last played professional basketball at. On to the next player, we have KJ Murrah. KJ was an undersized guard, and versus Virginia, he played suffocating defense and dropped 10 points, 3 assists, and 3 rebounds. He was a starter for UMBC, and in that season, he averaged 11 points per game, 2 steals, 5 assists, and 2 rebounds per game, while shooting 47% from the field and 43% from the three. In that same season, KJ was a third team All-America East and the America East Defensive Player of the Year. He would go on to be undrafted in the 2018 NBA Draft, and he never really got a shot with the NBA. He has played overseas in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic since his time at UMBC. With the next player, we had a junior who was a forward slash guard, Joe Sherburn. Versus Virginia, he dropped 14, 2, and 6 and had a really good game. In that season of his, he averaged 10.7 points. 3.9 rebounds and 2 total assists per game while shooting 45% from the field and 41% from the three. In his senior year at UMBC, he was a leader of the team. He averaged 14 points per game, had almost one steal, three assists, and over five rebounds per game while shooting 48% from the field and 38% from the three in 34 games played. He would go undrafted in the 2019 NBA Draft, and he would then play professional basketball shortly in Germany, but he suffered an injury early on, and that's been about it for his professional basketball career. With the next player, we have Arkel Lamar. He was a big factor in this win versus Virginia, as he dropped 12 points, 3 assists, and had 10 total rebounds. The big man was a sophomore in this season. He had 10 points per game one steal, one assist, and six total rebounds per game on the season while shooting almost 40% from the field and 36% from the three. He would end up playing one more full season with UMBC in 2018 to 2019, and in 2019 to 2020, he played in four games and redshirted and would eventually transfer to Kansas City. 
He has spent the past two seasons of his final eligibility at Kansas City, where from 2020 to 2022, he has averaged 13 points per game, almost one block, one steal, one assist, six total rebounds, while shooting 45% from the field, 33% from the three, and 56% from the free throw line. He is looking to be drafted in the 2022 NBA Draft. Next up is senior Jordan Grant. Versus Virginia, he dropped eight points, two assists, and four rebounds. In the season for UMBC, he started in 10 of the 34 games he played in and averaged 24 minutes per game. The guy was always playing in every game and was always playing good basketball. For the season, he averaged 7.5 points, 2 assists, and 2 rebounds per game while shooting 40% from the field and 37% from the three. After his time at UMBC, he would play professional basketball in the Latvian Estonian Basketball League. On to the next player, we have Max Curran. Curran was a sophomore in this season and versus Virginia, he had 0 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists. In this season, he primarily came off the bench starting in 10 of the 28 games he played in, averaging 12 minutes per game. For the season, he averaged 4.6 points per game and 3 total rebounds while shooting 44% from the field and 25% from the 3. He would spend two more seasons at UMBC before he would grad transfer to Florida Southern. Unfortunately, in near his end of the time he had at UMBC, Max would have some injury issues, only playing in a total of 21 games in two seasons. On to the next player, it was freshman big Daniel Aiken. Versus Virginia, he dropped two points, one rebound, and one assist. In his season at UMBC as a true freshman, he started in 20 of the 36 games he played in, averaging 3.5 points per game, 2 rebounds, while shooting 65% from the field and 40% from the free throw line. He would spend 3 more seasons at UMBC. In his career, he played in 91 total games, starting in 61 of them, averaging 20 minutes per game, 5.3 points, almost 5 rebounds per game, and half a block. He would shoot 58% from the field in his career before transferring to California Baptist for his final year of eligibility for the 2021-2022 college basketball season. Aiken for California Baptist in 2021-2022 would start in every game he played in, which was 33 games. He would have his best year of his career yet, where he had 11 points per game, one block, almost one steal, one and a half assists, and eight total rebounds per game while shooting 54% from the field. He will have hopes to be taken in the 2022 NBA Draft. On to the next player, it was true freshman big Brandon Horvath. In the season for UMBC, he primarily came off the bench starting in three of the 31 games he played in, averaging 10 minutes per game. On the shooting side of things, he averaged 3.3 points per game, had two total rebounds, and shot a total of 43% from the field and 29% from the three. He would spend the next three seasons at UMBC, where in each year he not only increased in playing time, but increased in production as well. In his career at UMBC, he averaged 8.7 points per game, five rebounds while shooting 46% from the field. In his final year at UNBC, he had averaged 13 points per game, eight rebounds while shooting 48% from the field. He was also a 2020 to 2021 all AEC member. In his final season of eligibility, he would end up transferring to Utah State. In his one lone season at Utah State, he would start in all 34 games he appeared in. He averaged 14 points per game, almost three assists, and six total rebounds per game while shooting 52% from the field and was an all Mountain West Conference player. He's hoping to be drafted in the 2022 NBA Draft. With the next player, it was junior big Nolan Garrity. In this season, he started in 16 of the 35 games he played in, averaging 3 points per game, half a block, 
almost one assist and three total rebounds per game on 12 minutes while shooting 49% from the field. He would play one more season at UMBC where he played in 20 games coming off the bench, averaging eight minutes per game, 1.2 points, and two rebounds about while shooting 46% from the field. On to the final player in today's video, it was junior forward Max Portman. He played in 21 games in the season in which he averaged 4.1 points per game and two total rebounds, shooting 48% from the field and 40% from the three. He would spend one more season at UMBC for his final year of eligibility, but unfortunately he was not able to compete in any games due to a back injury. After beating Virginia in the round of 64, they would face off versus Kansas State in the round of 32, where they would end up losing 43-50, to ending their run in the tournament. No matter what was the final result of the season, this season's going to be one in the history books due to what happened in that first round versus Virginia, and nobody can take that away from this team, no matter what the end result was for them in the tournament. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below if you want more basketball videos on this channel, and before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly out.